Welcome back guys and gals. It's 12-27-2021 and this is Odin Vlog Project Day 25. I hope that you all had a Merry Christmas and um, an upcoming Happy New Year and if you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays to everybody. Um, <clears throat> today we worked on Flex Modal and um, <laughs> and boy did I have problems with it. Um, this is the first one where I just smacked right into a wall. Um, I hit a knowledge wall big time. Um, so much so that I'm not even going to show you or try to go over what I did because basically it was one of those things where <clears throat> it was like I talked about in my last video where you try something, didn't work. You try something else, you, did, you know, try something else, didn't work. Try something else, didn't work. And, and the code becomes quickly chopped up and messy. Um, but unlike all the other times in number five here, I was never able to make enough traction for it to make sense. Um, so I gave up and looked at the solution. Um, I'm trying not to beat myself up over it because I've done really well up to this point of not looking at the solution. And I will tell you guys that I put forth the best effort I could um, I don't even want to admit to how many, how much time I have logged on this number five exercise. I, I, I mean, I'm probably pushing two hours, maybe. Um, I looked at it probably five different times, and even in between there, I took a nap because I started looking at it yesterday, <clears throat> and my son, um, he woke me up really early in the morning, um, and so I thought maybe I was just tired. <laughs> So I looked at it. I gave it a couple goes. It it wasn't working out. I I was spinning my wheels. wasn't gaining any traction. <laughs> and so I took a nap uh, in the afternoon and then looked at it again. This has been like the third or fourth look. Spent. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm talking looks are not like five second looks. I'm talking like you know probably thirty minutes plus of just cutting. You know. You know, throwing in some code, cutting it out. Throwing in some code, cutting it out. Doing research, googling. You know, I just. I could not get it, um, and so we'll go through it now, and we'll go through the solution as as they have it. So, um, just like all the other ones, except uh, this will be a shorter video tonight because I'm not going over mine because I didn't get it done. So, um, like I said, I'm trying not to beat myself up over it. Um, it is still a learning exercise. I'm still still gaining knowledge. So let's get started on this. Um, <clears throat> it says this one is a is another very common pattern on the web. The solution to this one is simple, and that right there threw me off. Because when I read it the second time, before I started working on it, I convinced myself that to, uh, sorry, my Tourette's is a little active here, <coughs> is to not overthink it, and the solution is simple, and to not over-engineer like I normally do. And so maybe that screwed my approach because I, because it literally said the solution is simple, but it might not be immediately obvious. So I was like, okay, well I'll you know bang the keyboard a little bit and see what comes up. And I kept just spinning my wheels. And it says you'll need to edit the HTML a bit to get everything to where it needs to be, which okay made sense. Um, I knew I, I knew what I was going to have to do with that. And it says a hint, <clears throat> and this really threw me off. Depending, depending on how you approach this, you might need to revisit the flex shrink property to keep a flex keep a flex item from getting smashed. I knew exactly what flex shrink was. I knew how to apply it. It wasn't a syntactical problem. It was a an approach problem. Like that threw me off from the aspect of, okay, I need to put flex shrink in somewhere. But as we'll go through here, there's a this particular exercise has what feels like a billion different um, flex containers. And flex items, it's like, well, what what flex container do I put that to? So, again, <clears throat> it just <laughs> it just was a bad ex exercise for me. I hope you guys did better. Um, the blue icon is aligned to the left. There's equal space on either side of the icon. The gaps between the icon and the edge of the card and the icon and the text are the same. There is padding around the edge of the model. The header, text, and buttons are aligned with each other. The header is bold and slightly larger text, than the, text size than the text, and the close button is vertically aligned with the header and aligned with the top right card. So um, when you get it, this is what you get out of the package. 
This is what it looks like. It actually, and that's what threw me off too, is that this isn't that bad. I work. It's the funny thing is, is the other exercises I feel like had a lot. Uh, they were a lot more messed up than this. This seemed kind of well put together already. So here's the desired outcome. So you see, it's not really that much different. We 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 rotate, you know, the X button, the close button up to the upper right hand corner. You know, we make sure that this icon stays over here, and basically we just, you know, we left justify our buttons and our and our title and our and our body, and that's about it. Um, it looks it looks very simple, <clears throat> but <clears throat> apparently my mind just wasn't <laughs> my approach wasn't mind wasn't taking it. Um, <clears throat> so let's go over the HTML here. This is the solution HTML. So uh, we're just going to go over it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the class modal here. And if I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. Um, I think it's pronounced modal. But anyway, so you got that. And that's basically the entire card. And then you have, and that's out of the box. And then you have the div class icon, which that's out of the box. And that's that's literally the exclamation point with the circle around it. And then they have a they have a class called container. This is what you would add. This is the edit to the HTML file. So basically, you're going to add a class called container. Put the end tag down here. And so the container, class container, excuse me, will hold your header, which is out of the box, your close button, which is out of the box, and your text, which is the body part, which is out of the box, the which class is called class text, the class continue and class cancel for the buttons, which are out of the box as well, all are wrapped inside that container. So basically the container is going to be all of this, including the cancel and the continue button without the exclamation point, without this right here. Um, and I couldn't wrap my head around that one either. So I had done something like this on my end, on my solution on HTML. What I did was, and it didn't work out, but I created a, what I called like a top, a top container that had this in it, this in it, and this in it, so I could get it to uh, go across like that. But that solution didn't work because it disjointed the header from the body and and they weren't lining up um long story short so that was that was kind of kind of the thought process i was taking and i tried different things too and it just i couldn't get anything to work um so we go over to the html or excuse me the css and as always um the top stuff's the normal so I, I'll just kind of skip over that because when you guys do the exercise, you'll see all this stuff is what they give you already. <clears throat> and so the solution is you have a class selector called modal, and it's display flex, obviously. Its gap is 16, and its padding is 16. And whereas numbers aren't important, I, I'm going to try to talk through this <clears throat> so for further understanding on my end, too. Is that? <clears throat> excuse me. So the gap is coming from, I believe this one right here. There's equal space on either side of the uh, icon, and <clears throat> the gaps between the icon, and the edge of the card, and the icon and the text are the same. So that's where your 16. So the gap is the 16 pixels in between each flex item, and then. So that would be basically 16 here, you know. Um, uh, modal, so the modal will be the entire card. So um, 16 pixels. Let's see. Yeah, 16. I didn't bring up the. I don't have. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. I didn't bring up the actual desired. Um, Maybe we should do that. Um, I don't want to make this video super long and drawn out. Let's see if we can get through without it. Um, anyway, that's going to define the gap between the flex items and the padding is the space between the um, the 
item uh, the text sense border so like um, <clears throat> let's do f12 on this even though this is not the outright outcome but just to show you in case you need the review so the padding is 16 which is from the edge of uh, the edge of the text to the edge of the um, border there it's not in there so this is really bad I probably should just go ahead and just in case somebody ha is following along here that hasn't done the exercise this probably isn't making a lot of sense so let me just grab sorry I'm kind of all over the place here let me grab the desired outcome solution HTML file and throw that in here there we go okay there we go there's your 16 padding on the bottom um, actually no that's yeah we'll get to that in a minute but yeah so icon is flex shrink zero so that is where they come up with the uh, part up here about the hint of using flex shrink <clears throat> which really I wasn't expecting it to be on there I honestly when I was thinking of that I was thinking it was probably going to be the close button because it kept shifting on me when I was navigating it and writing code around it but actually the so the the flex shrink is on the flex container item icon here so that just means that it won't zero means it won't shrink so as this text expands this won't be collapsed because I did notice that actually at one point in time when I was messing around with stuff and looking at it in developer tools like this <coughs> I had one point where this had collapsed so I actually think maybe I was on to something kind of sort of but then I kept erasing going back to the drawing board but I never thought that that would be the item that would have the um, flex shrink on it and the header is going to be uh, that there so it's display flex align center which uh, matches all the instruction here um, justify space between they do that so that you can have uh, that that allows you to have this flex over here to be clo the close button and for this flex over here to be on that side <clears throat> with space in the middle um, if you don't add that it won't lay it out like that it'll jam it all on one side or in the middle um, font size 18 pixels again the values don't really matter it's just that it's in there and it's consistent excuse me font weight 700 again the the number doesn't matter 700 if you remember from previous lessons is just bold so margin bottom 8 pixels um, that is because they want uh, <clears throat> the header text and buttons are aligned with each other the header is bold and slightly larger in text size than text and the close button is vertically aligned with the header and aligned with the top right of the card so you have to add <clears throat> some margin in the bottom so that you can get um, you have to do it on both these to get them to line up so um, in order to get this to um, sit at the top of the card you have to add that padding in there or that margin at the bottom same here uh, otherwise it's slammed right up on top of the buttons if you don't do that so that satisfies that requirement and then just like we talked about the text the margin bottom 16 pixels which is this white uh, the yellow strip there on that one so <clears throat> looking at it now it's actually pretty pretty simple um, I just I don't know as I keep going over over here in my head but I just um, was not um, I was not taking the right approach um, and, and I'm going to probably go over this a couple more times myself personally before I move on to make sure I fully understand what's going on here so I can come back ready to slam dunk the uh, next one which is uh, flex layout um, and finish strong with the last two I don't want to have it I don't want this to be a new trend where for the rest of these I, I end up getting spinning my wheels um, I gave it <clears throat> unless I give it so much ample time like on this where I just literally was not coming up with anything <clears throat> I even went back today and tried it before I gave up and looked at the solution thinking maybe I need, just need to get a full night's sleep but it's okay um, 
we all get stuck sometimes and this was just a total roadblock for me usually I can push through and power through but wasn't gonna happen on today on this one so um, anyway that's the solution um, thank you guys for coming along with me on the journey today and hope it was educational and fun for you and um, again I hope everyone had a happy holiday and Merry Christmas and uh, you guys are all safe for New Year's coming up here if you celebrate uh, please 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 be safe about it and um, next time we will uh, be back with uh, flex layout number six we'll round out with flex layout two for number seven and we will be completing the CSS uh, exercise we'll be going on to the project so look forward to all that and I look forward to having you guys along in the journey. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more. And uh, let me know in the comments below uh, how you guys fared out on this. So until next time, see ya.